about this very, very controversial item of fluoride, uh, Mr. Daniel Stockings. And of course, Mr. Stockin is a health researcher for the uh, Lilly Center, a public health and environmental health uh, concern located in Brentwood, uh, Tennessee. And of course, Mr. Stockin, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Thank you for having me. And to tell you, Mr. Stockin, how uh, delighted we are to have you here this morning. And I think that our audience has already identified this setup that we have here. And I think this might be our first over uh, the last 25 or 30 years. But nevertheless, I think it's very, very important because the issue that we're going to deal with this morning is an issue that people might have a difficult time relating to unless they can identify uh, this issue of fluoride. And so that's what we want to talk about this morning, about this as an issue, as a controversy. And of course, uh, before we do that, let's have uh, us, let's give you an opportunity to give us some information about Daniel Stockin. Okay. Uh, your background, your education, and some of the things that led you to the Lilly Center as a health researcher. Well, thank you. Um, we, I'm one of those people, uh, I have a background in public health and environmental health. I've been in it for 17 years. Uh, I'm one of those people that you s used to see, or some people do see, that put a big white suit or suit on or one of the big respiratory protection mm -hmm. systems on their back, and I, I used to dive into spills of radioactive materials, mm -hmm. of biologic agents, um, uh, dealt with chemical hazards, hazardous waste. Mm -hmm. So that's what I kind of cut my teeth on in my public health career. Mm -hmm. And over the years, I've worked in health care as well as in environmental health. Mm -hmm. And um, we got involved in this. I work for a company called the Lilly Center. Mm -hmm. We offer public health and environmental health training classes is what we do. We're, and um, we got involved in this issue about fluoride, sort of not really planning on doing it. It came at us kind of sideways. And what we, you may, some people in this area may see signs on the side of the road that says fluoridated drinking water. Mm -hmm. Well, my boss had a, a reaction on her skin and she was asking me one day, could it possibly be caused by mm -hmm. fluoride in the water? She was new to the area, had never been around fluoridated water. Well. I did what I've done hundreds of times in my career. I backed away from a chemical and just looked at it. What, what does it do in the body and how does it affect it and these kind of things. What we found just made our jaw drop. And a lot of information of the, on this nature has come out in the past few years. And we have found that the majority of health professionals, uh, certainly average citizens mm -hmm. and uh, people at water districts just